<laughs> Hi guys, sorry we're back again. It's, like I said, keep cutting me off. I had to end some stories, but yeah. Um, so now I'm 58, <clears throat> and my kids are grown. My baby girl is 19, and uh, a lot of things happen, and I'm starting over again. So I decided to start researching, and I started researching on relationships because it seemed like the relationships I have was a lot of spoiled men. And I'm trying to make sure I don't get that anymore. And um, friend-wise, it kind of got ugly. We kind of getting back talking again. Um, they didn't, really didn't understand me. Just a lot of things happened. And um, so I started, uh, like I say, researching relationships. And then I start. I say, okay, where do I want to be in life? Where do I actually want? Where's my goal? So. <clears throat> I know I wanted to be successful and I wanted to make sure that um, inheritance keep going because I was listening to the Japanese I like theirs most of anything they they have they make plans for a hundred year leg you know um, generations that's how they plan so whatever they do they you know after they're gone they want to make sure their family okay so that's my goal now. So I started listening to a lot of them and I started to a lot of uh, billionaires and millionaires and how they succeeded and what happened to them. So that's the thing I'm on now. So then I started researching people at my age who, who became, you know, successful at my age. And, you know, because I never want to give up. I'm not that type of person. I'm going to keep on trying regardless of what things come at me. I'm going to still keep trying. So, um... I found out that uh, I like to make um, different products, and I first started off with that because I had caught uh, <clears throat> arthritis in my knees and stuff, and so uh, I just started asking questions. You know, I like, like I said, I like talking to the universe, nature, and um, you might some people say I'm crazy, whatever. And you know, um, they told me a, a plant that was on the side of my uh, window that. Um, uh, will be good for me. So I went inside of my window and I smelled it and it smelled like a plant that my mom used to give me when I was younger, when I would get sick. So I researched it, a nettle plant, and it come to find out it was for arthritis. So I started drinking that and then I said, well, okay, what else out of Mother Nature? So I started researching our natives and our ancestors and what they had and what they did. And what, you know, I asked my mom a lot of stuff and fig leaves and figs, you know, for, for healing and got into that and got into uh it's a lot of on my uh youtube channels on this one as well and on unsabotage at 56 and uh, our ancestors hm products so i started um first i started off doing uh i said well i don't want to you use shampoo anymore because i don't know the chemicals that's in there so i started taking fruits and vegetables um out the house out my kitchen and putting them together and, and researching on them or how, what, you know, vitamins, minerals they had in them and started uh, making shampoo with it. I call it brain shampoo. And I put that on my station, my channel as well. And then after that, I, I wanted to, I started making lotion. So I started taking lotion from different plants out in Mother Nature, uh, mushrooms, uh, different plants I would find that were healthy and uh, cure a lot of diseases. I found out our ancestors did malaria, just cough, colds, even this this, this virus inside. There's plants for this virus inside, and uh, cleaning your mucus side and everything. <clears throat> and I started researching Dr. Sabi. He would be good. He was good, a herbal doctor. And uh, he was saying about this, you know, this this right here. I'm sorry, sea salt. Uh, probably upside down, but. Yeah, it, it cleans your system out, the mucus, and, and clean out any slime, you know, or relationships, stuff like that. And just, you know, just food we eat that's poison in these stores, because, you know, it's like 10 companies that make our food, and they make it in laboratories. So it's probably you no know, minerals in that and in the water, and I learned how to clean my water, and I use basil water sometimes. I might boil it. Matter of fact, I might put it on um, our ancestors' HM products, uh, making uh, basil water, and you know, uh, just different things I started learning that I'm very interested in. And <clears throat> my lotions as well. So I get my grandbabies involved and they're loving it and uh, testing it out ourselves and stuff like that. So who knows? You know, I might can market that later on. But I'm really excited about my new future and where I'm going and, and how I'm learning things and, you know, and uh, 
learn things about the world and some of the secrets and and you know and and how we how all kind of stuff got started school uh who invented that uh why we got grocery stores you know we we're curious and um my late one was uh found about dental you could tell uh what ancestry you from just by your teeth so i put that on my facebook and um you just different things I found out, and and I'm you know like we would like to stay busy. We like to research, and if we can help somebody with it, we will. You know, and I put a lot on my channels to help other people, and and you know, see if that are you know, because the medication is always got side effects. So if we're using herbs from out the earth and Mother Nature's plants, and it's not, excuse me, giving any side effects, you know why not? Some of them, you know, you have to research it all for yourself. But I got some interesting things on my other YouTube channel, excuse me, and that's why I decided to do the YouTube channel as well, because I wanted to make a start, you know, I wanted to start something that will motivate me to go to the next level, so that's why I started this, and, um, <clears throat> you know, just different things, and I'm excited, and I was like, I found Amanda uh, Church's Chicken, Dr. Colonel, whatever his name, he, um, uh, he started in his 50s, and, uh, I think Warren Buffett and different other ones. And I started um, watching ALUX, A-L-U-X. Uh, uh, they have uh, things that they tell you about different things, how to start business, who did what, how did they start their businesses. And Oh, and I started with uh, also Rich Dad, Poor Dad and listening to his auto and, you know, stuff like that and um, trying to motivate myself and, and find out where I want to go because I don't just want to be rich just to be rich. I want to help. Cause I feel like I came here to do that, you know, to help out and to leave legacies and leave uh, inheritance for my, you know, my kids and generation and motivate them. And if they don't want to get involved, you know, with it, maybe I uh, can motivate them to their businesses and, excuse me, maybe find people that um, are interested in different stuff like I am and help with the business and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I'll probably get somebody to help me with my website and different things that I don't know. Because a lot of paperwork I don't like to deal with, you know. Um, I could do it, but um, if I could find somebody else who could do it better, I would love to do that. So, yeah, um, if anybody interested in, in helping out and starting out, you know, let me know. We can work something out, you know. Like I said, I'm starting over and, uh, you know, trying to get in there the job stop for a while, but they're picking back up. So, hopefully, I'll be back working. And Oh, yeah, because when I was... <clears throat> help grow my kids also i used to sell ice cream snow cones uh, uh what they call it uh cool pops whatever it is sell out the house and just do different things i always like staying busy so they write about us three we do like staying busy and making a difference and and helping people and and open their minds up that's the most important thing people think we're being smart or thinking we think we know more than them or something but if I find out something and I, I don't know if anybody else know, you know, I'm going to post it. You know, I'm going to put it, I'm going to say it, I'm going to talk about it, you know, and I, I'm, I'm trying to be more patient with myself more than anything and, and learn to listen. And one thing I have, I I uh, don't remember a lot of people's names. Now that I'm working on as well because that's important. Everybody wants you to remember their names, you know. And uh, 